Hello guys, in this video we will be looking at DNA predicted traits, predicted appearance, predicted uh, NGD match, uh, results of Iron Gates Hunter Gatherer from Romania. This individual lived in the Mesolithic and uh, it was a female with mitochondrial DNA K1. This is her predicted phenotype with Maina Shakoto. As you can see, she's predicted to have hazel eyes, uh, black hair, and pretty much an even likelihood of uh, snub shape or Greek shaped nose. As you can see in the picture, I depicted her having a little bit of a darker skin. I gave her more of a um, olive skin tone. That's because, according to Snipper Free Skin Prediction, she is most likely to have intermediate skin tone. And I've been depicting all these ancient individuals as looking white. Uh, I think I gotta be more fair to them and predict them with intermediate skin tone when Snipper Free predicts them to have such skin tones. Uh, now, she had BH1 and BH2, which means that. 23andMe would predict her to have blue eyes. You can see the prediction that 23andMe would give her on the right of the screen. Um, however, she most likely did not have blue eyes because of other exotic genotypes, mostly having to do with other genes that have to do with skin color and hair color, such as SLC45A2, SLC24A5. Now, code gen wasn't working for me, so I just did the old-fashioned open the file in notepad and do some searching. So she did not have the warrior gene, in the Compt, instead, she had the warrior gene with IE, uh, which means uh, slower reuptake of dopamine, which means more dopamine building up in the system, uh, which means advantage in memory and attention tasks, but a disadvantage in stress resilience. And this is a very typical uh, genotype for Europeans. Uh, now, her genotype in DRD2's uh, Pro319 Pro variation was maybe not so typical for Europeans. Uh, she had GG here, which means um, higher likelihood of schizophrenia and not a no-go learner. By the way, CC corresponds to GG and TT here corresponds to AA. In this variation in DRD2, she had a typical European genotype CC, but it's nothing surprising because most people in the world, not just Europeans, have uh, CC here. Oh yeah, by the way, the information on SNPDA is all based on outdated chips, so if you see like CC and in your file you have something completely different, you have like uh, AG or something, just remember that C corresponds to G and T always corresponds to A. She did not have the European lactose persistence mutation. She also did not have the sociopath gene. She did not have derived EDAR, which means no mongoloid uh, facial features such as shovel-shaped incisors. She also had this genotype in SLC24A5, which I find um, quite, uh, quite fascinating and, and exotic for Europeans. This is part of the reason why she's predicted to have hazel eyes instead of blue and there's other reasons for that too in her geno in her genotype you can explore her file and find all kinds of crazy and exotic things uh, relating to appearance and phenotype but this is a super exotic variation because uh, nobody zero percent of modern europeans have gg here moving on to gd match this is what she scores with eurogenes k13 this is the highest north atlantic and baltic that i've seen ever with any um with any sample and th this person had just so much modern northern european drift this is like an early modern northern european extreme northern european because this person had a lot of northern european drift look at how much north ba north atlantic and baltic that's 95 i'm just bulk parking it 96 and a half percent it looks like this is what she scores with mdlpk 11 now this is a little bit of a surprising but i'm not too surprised with these calculators anymore because i know i know that they don't really represent reality the western hunter gatherer vhg category here does not really represent VHG, it represents something else. Uh, with the Oracle, she's closest to Scandinavian Neolithic, and she can be modeled as a mixture of Scandinavian Neolithic with Baltic Late Bronze Age, or for example, Scandinavian Neolithic with Corded Ware, Unities Poland, or uh, she can also be modeled as a mixture of Bockstein, Mesolithic, I don't know what that is, with um, Bell Beakers. This is her result with Eurogenes K36. Now you know how it is. Uh, the GD match result, the huge paper, uh, the, the huge page doesn't fit in the screenshot. I can't really fit it here. I don't want to. Uh, you can just look at it. Everything's color coded for you. Very nice. Uh, the largest category here is Fenoscandian, followed by Eastern European, followed by East Central European, followed by North Sea. But there is a little bit of Basque here as well. Uh, I think that's because these Western hunter gatherers contributed to Basque people very greatly. And this is her result with Pan DNA LK10. Um, I don't take this very seriously because she's scoring 4% ENF, she's scoring 4% CHG, that is crazy, she did not have this admixture. It must be the fault of the calculator, I think 
when they were creating this calculator, they got something wrong. Maybe they simulated uh, the allele frequencies for Western hunter gatherers using modern ethnicities. That's my guess. They were using, obviously, they didn't have a database of like thousands of Western hunter gatherer genomes, so they probably simulated this uh, allele frequency sheet for Western hunter gatherers using modern ethnicities, and this is why the result is so messed up. Uh, this is her result with Pun DNA LK12. Once again, same explanation as before. Uh, clearly, these categories here do not represent uh, the groups that they're labeled as. Clearly, the European HG category represents something other than European hunter-gatherers, because if it did, this individual would score 100% of it. With the oracle, she's closest to Bichon, which is a Western hunter-gatherer and Hungary hunter-gatherer at a very low distance. And by the way, this shows you how like how wrong this calculator is, because she's scoring 18% Anatolian, and despite that, she's getting modeled as 98.4% Western hunter-gatherer plus something else. So clearly it's typical for Western hunter-gatherers on this calculator to score a bunch of Anatolian. And here is her result with Gidros ZK3. Now you can see she's not scoring 100% West Eurasian, as you would expect. Uh, that's not because she's part Black or East Asian, that's because West Eurasian category here is based on modern ethnicities who are West Eurasians, it's based on modern people, and this is an ancient individual, and modern people have modern drift, which this ancient individual did not have. And here's what she scores with Gedrosia's Ancient Eurasia K6, this is an absolutely, absolutely deranged result, I'm not even going to entertain it, it's getting modeled as a mixture of three quarters Western Hedegaard plus Iranian, absolutely deranged result, and this is Gedrosia Iran Neolithic K6 result. Uh, here she's scoring 13% Natufi and once again completely stupid deranged result. Uh, not accurate, not representative whatsoever. And this was the sample on G25. Um, I didn't know much about these Iron Gates hunter-gatherers before. I was expecting them to be like pure Western hunter-gatherer, pure VHG. Uh, so it was a little bit of a shock to me that it had some CDL Kino, uh, some Eastern hunter-gatherer ancestry. And out of modern ethnicities, it's closest to Latvians, Lithuanians, Balts, basically the usual suspects when it comes to hunter-gatherer admixture in Europe. Thank you guys for having watched until the end. You can download the sample in 23 me format uh, from link which is in the description. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.